Shabbat Shalom. This week I want to talk a little bit about winter, something that uh, few people want to hear about. But uh, now that it's mid-November, I would say that winter is upon us. We've had our first little dusting of snow, and uh, I think the high today uh, is supposed to be minus 8, which uh, <laughs> is not so high. So reasonably speaking, I think we're, we're finally into winter after a beautiful fall and uh, probably the most beautiful summer that anyone can remember here in, in many, many years. But winter is not a bad thing. Just like summer and, and spring and fall are not bad things. Uh, really, none of these natural phenomena can be called bad. They can be called uh, challenging sometimes. But it's all part of the, the cycle of life. And life has phases that are restful and phases that are active. Life proceeds on the steps of rest and activity. Uh, we see this in Judaism, uh, mainly with the Shabbat we notice this, that six days of work and then we have the seventh day of rest, and six days of work and the seventh day of rest. And what is the, the theory of rest and activity? It's that one provides the basis of the other and one is the fulfillment of the other. Like taking a left leg stride and a right leg stride and a left leg stride and a right leg stride. It's all balanced in that way and it's the two together that make for a balanced progression. And so if we were to work seven days a week, and I'm afraid that these days some of us do, uh, life tends to go out of balance and this is when we have trouble sleeping, uh, trouble digesting our food. Uh, we go out of balance because we don't give ourselves the necessary step of rest that would keep things progressing in the right way. So six days of work and the seventh day is the day of rest. And also in the seasons of the year we find something similar. There's a rest phase of the year and then an active phase of the year. So it's so interesting to me that Rosh Hashanah, the head of the Jewish year, comes during fall. What sense does that make? Wouldn't the new year more logically fall around the time of spring? But actually, I think it's very, very wise that the rabbis chose to time the, the new year in this way. Think of it this way. In the book of Genesis, we read the creation story, and it says, and there was evening, and there was morning, one day. And then uh, day two and day three, it's the same thing. Always the day beginning with the evening before. And all Jewish holidays, consequently, are celebrated beginning at sunset of the evening before. What is the sense of that? The idea is that rest is the basis of activity. And as you have slept or rested in the night, that determines the quality of your day. And so really the day begins long before the sun rises in the morning. It really begins at sunset the evening before. So rest being the basis of activity, we begin our days in Judaism at sunset. And similarly, we begin the new year at the time of the onset of the rest phase of the year. Fall being the beginning of that inward stroke of experience which we call winter. Fall not being winter yet, but fall would be, would be equivalent to the sun setting in the evening. It's the beginning of, of that rest phase, that night phase of the year. And so fall is not a bad thing. Winter, as cold and unpleasant as it can be sometimes, is not a bad thing. We're talking about the rest phase of nature. And the seeds are being sown in this rest phase for spring and summer. And we could arguably say that spring would not be spring and summer would not be summer were not fall, fall, and winter, winter. So we're into the rest phase of the year. We're into that uh, colder period. Uh, it's a period of uh, adjustment and getting used to different driving conditions, walking conditions, and also our bodies need to adjust to the cold. Every single year I, I find that my body has to get used to the winter all over again. But then once it does, it becomes a matter of uh, relative temperature. So um, it can be minus 20 or minus 30 for maybe a week or two. And then when it warms up to, to zero, um, it, it feels um, very, very warm. Whereas now we would say, oh, that's, that's, that's a cool temperature. So all relative, all a matter of what the body adjusts to, all a matter of how nature handles its own rest and activity. Know that uh, nature knows best. And uh, so long as we follow the, the path of nature, which is nothing short of being the will of God, 
then we ourselves will always be in balance. So six days of work, one day of rest. Fall and winter preceded by or preceding spring and summer. And in that way, life is held in balance. And so here is wishing all of you uh, balanced lives, lives of progress and happiness and fulfillment, uh, a beautiful rest on Shabbat, and a fulfilling six days of the work week. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>